Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to convert your VHS videotapes from a good old VHS cassette like this onto a computer or a laptop in digital format. So first of all let's talk about the hardware. So what you're going to need is a video player. I'm just going to be using this trusty old Panasonic VHS player I've had for many years. So I'm just going to be using that to play the VHS cassette. On the back of it here we've got two SCART outputs and what I've done is I've purchased a SCART to HDMI converter which is this one here and it's got a little USB cable that comes out there which you need to use to power it so that's what we're going to be using to transfer and convert the picture from SCART to HDMI just here and don't worry about this I'll leave a link in the description to all these items so you can just click on the links and get them and I've again tried a couple of these different types of adapters. Some work, some don't. But the one that definitely works, which is this one here, I'll leave a link for this in the description. Okay, so that's our SCART to HDMI adapter. So that's one part of the puzzle. So the second part you're going to need is some kind of a capture card. And what I've got here is an Elgato HD60S capture card. And how this works is it's really simple. Got two cables going into this. First of all, you're going to have the input, which is going to be the HDMI cable. So that will be going into the here. There, so it comes from the output of your adapter into there, and that's going to go into the video capture card right there. And the second plug that comes off there, that's a USB-C connector. And that's how that is powered. So basically you're going to need to connect that to your PC and laptop as well to power this card. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've got the Elgato right here. So the USB cable is going to go into the laptop on this side. And I've got a little adapter right here. So that's going to be powering the Elgato and you can just see it lighting up there. So that's all good to go. Next thing is you need USB power for the SCART to HDMI adapter. So I'm just going to be using this one here. That's just going to go right there. And that's it. We're all set. So now you're going to need a bit of software to be able to import this video. So what I would suggest is don't use the Elgato software. Now there's a little bug in Elgato. So if you've got a videotape which is more than 30 minutes long, it just seems to basically just record 30 minutes of video and then it just stops recording. So what I would suggest is using a free source software called Ob Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and install that on the laptop. So the software we are going to use is called Ob Studio and you can download that from https obsproject.com and this is a windows laptop so we're just going to install the free windows version so we'll just do next to the installer just do next again click on install Okay, so we're just going to launch Ob Studio. Click finish. And you can choose a couple of options here. You can optimize for streaming or you can just optimize for recording. Well, I'm just going to be recording, so I'm just going to click the center option there. Radio button just there in the middle. Do next. And then it asks you what resolution you want to use. I want to just use that one, which is um, HD quality. It's 1920 by 1080. And then it's just going to apply the settings. And you can just close that window there. And we'll make this full screen. So there we go. So that's all set up. So once Ob Studio is open, what we need to do is connect this Elgato video capture card as a source. So what you do is click on the plus button just down there. Click on video capture device. Just give it a name. Do OK. Yeah. And what we're going to do is change it from, say, if you've got a webcam already, to the Game Capture HD60S, that one there. 
and do OK. Next part is the audio mixer. Now you can add anything like uh, desktop sounds to it or anything like that. Well, I'm going to turn all of that off. And then if you scroll down to the video capture, it's going to be using the sound from the video capture device just there. And then all you need to do is let's just press play on the video. And there you go. That's working great. That's come straight from the video tape that's just been inserted. Obviously, there's no sound. It's just internal. But you can see just here with this video capture device, it's going up and down. So there is definitely sound being transferred into the laptop. And then the last thing we need to do is just press record. So let's just do start recording. And that's it recording. Simple as that. And it tells you at the bottom just here. Uh, how long your video is when you're recording it. So I think we'll stop the recording there. It then tells you the location where it stored it. So here we are in the video section and as you'll see that's where the video clip has been saved. Now I'm just going to click on there once to get some information on this file and as you can see it's an MKV file that's what it saved it as. The size is around about 69 megabytes and the length is about 24 seconds. So I'm just going to double click on it and hopefully it'll open in VLC player. And there we go. Full screen. It's got the audio as well. So there you go. That's all you need to do. And you can convert all your video tapes and get them onto your computer. So the file that we saved, that's been saved as an MKV format. Now that isn't always compatible with some players, but usually MP4 format is. So the way to do that, if you wanted to save it as an MP4 file, is go into settings go into output and where it's got recording format if you click that you can change it to an mp4 that way and then if you want to use less space you can do things like change the quality from high quality medium to some other ones as well so you can get a smaller or a larger file it's entirely up to you or use different encoders as well so there you go, Savages, a nice simple way of converting your VHS videotapes onto digital format on your computer, just using two tools, one of which is your SCAR to HDMI converter and a Elgato video capture card like this. So anyway, I hope you like this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you Savages on the next one.